Orbital perturbation analysis is the activity of determining why a satellite's orbit differs from the mathematical ideal orbit. A satellite's orbit in an ideal two-body system describes a conic section, usually an ellipse. In reality, there are several factors that cause the conic section to continually change. These deviations from the ideal Kepler's orbit are called perturbations. History, for example, of the lunar orbit It has long been recognized that the Moon does not follow a perfect orbit, and many theories and models have been examined over the millennia to explain it. Isaac Newton determined the primary contributing factor to orbital perturbation of the Moon was that the shape of the Earth is actually an oblate spheroid due to its spin, and he used the perturbations of the lunar orbit to estimate the oblateness of the Earth. In Newton's Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, he demonstrated that the gravitational force between two mass points is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the points, and he fully solved the corresponding two-body problem, demonstrating that the radius vector between the two points would describe an ellipse. But no exact closed analytical form could be found for the three-body problem. Instead, mathematical models called orbital perturbation analysis have been developed with these techniques a quite accurate mathematical description of the trajectories of all the planets could be obtained newton recognized that the moon's perturbations could not entirely be accounted for using just the solution to the three body problem as the deviations from a pure kepler orbit around the earth are much larger than deviations of the orbits of the planets from their own sun centered kepler orbits caused by the gravitational attraction between the planets with the availability of digital computers and the ease with which we can now compute orbits, this problem has partly disappeared, as the motion of all celestial bodies including planets, satellites, asteroids and comets can be modeled and predicted with almost perfect accuracy using the method of the numerical propagation of the trajectories. Nevertheless, several analytical closed-form expressions for the effect of such additional perturbing forces are still very useful. The precise modeling of the motion of the Moon has been a difficult task. The best and most accurate modeling for the lunar orbit before the availability of digital computers was obtained with the complicated Delaunay and Brown's lunar theories. In general All celestial bodies of the Solar System follow in first approximation a Kepler orbit around a central body. For a satellite artificial or natural, this central body is a planet. But both due to gravitational forces caused by the Sun and other celestial bodies and due to the flattening of its planet, caused by its rotation which makes the planet slightly oblate and therefore the result of the Shell theorem not fully applicable the satellite will follow an orbit around the Earth that deviates more than the Kepler orbits observed for the planets. Topic. Perturbation of spacecraft orbits For man-made spacecraft orbiting the Earth at comparatively low altitudes the deviations from a Kepler orbit are much larger than for the Moon. The approximation of the gravitational force of the Earth to be that of a homogeneous sphere gets worse the closer one gets to the Earth's surface and the majority of the artificial Earth satellites are in orbits that are only a few hundred kilometers over the Earth's surface. Furthermore, they are as opposed to the Moon, significantly affected by the solar radiation pressure because of their large cross-section to mass ratio. This applies in particular to three-axis stabilized spacecraft with large solar arrays and is allowed for in calculation of graveyard orbits. In addition they are significantly affected by rarefied air below 800 to 1000 km. 
The air drag at high altitudes is also dependent on solar activity. Mathematical approach Consider any function g x 1 x 2 x 3 v 1 v 2 v 3 Display style G x underscore one, x underscore two, x underscore three, V underscore one, V underscore two, V underscore three at the position x one x two x three Display style x underscore one, x underscore two, x underscore three and the velocity v 1 v 2 v 3 display style v underscore 1 v underscore 2 v underscore 3 from the chain rule of differentiation one gets that the time derivative of g display style g is g equals g x one v one plus g x two v two plus g x three V three plus G V one F one plus G V two F two plus G V three F three Display style dot G equals frac partial G partial x underscore one V underscore one plus frac partial G partial x underscore two V underscore two plus frac partial G partial x underscore three V underscore three plus frac partial G partial V underscore one F underscore one plus frac partial G partial V underscore two F underscore two plus frac partial G partial Partial v underscore three f underscore three, where f one f two f three display style f underscore one f underscore two f underscore three are the components of the force per unit mass acting on the body. If now G display style G is a constant of motion for a Kepler orbit, like for example an orbital element, and the force is corresponding Kepler force F one F two F three equals minus Mu R three x one x two x three display style f underscore one f underscore two f underscore three equals frac mu r carrot three x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three one has that G equals 
zero display style dot g equals zero if the force is the sum of the Kepler force and an additional force force per unit mass h one h two h three Display style H underscore one H underscore two H underscore three IE F one F two F three equals minus mu R three X one x two x three plus h one h two h three Display style F underscore one, F underscore two, F underscore three equals frac mu R carrot three x underscore one, x underscore two, x underscore three plus H underscore one, H underscore two, H underscore three. One therefore has G equals G V one. H one plus G V two H two plus G V three H three Display style dot G equals frac partial G partial V underscore one H underscore one plus frac partial G partial V underscore two H underscore two plus frac partial G partial V underscore three H underscore three and that the change of G Display style G in the time from T equals T one Display style T equals T underscore one two T equals T two Display style T equals T underscore two is Delta G equals T one T two G V one H one plus G V two H two plus G V three H three D T Display style delta G equals in limits underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two left frac partial G partial V underscore one H underscore one plus frac partial G partial V underscore two H underscore two plus frac partial G partial V underscore three H underscore three right DT If now the additional force H one H two H three Display style H underscore one H underscore two H underscore three is sufficiently small that the motion will be close to that of a Kepler orbit one gets an approximate value for Delta G 
display style delta g by evaluating this integral assuming x 1 t x 2 t x 3 t Display style x underscore one t x underscore two t x underscore three t to precisely follow this Kepler orbit. In general, one wants to find an approximate expression for the change delta g display style delta g over one orbital revolution using the true anomaly. Theta display style theta as integration variable, i.e., as this integral is evaluated setting r theta equals p one plus e cos theta. Display style r theta equals frac p one plus e cos theta. The elliptical Kepler orbit in polar angles. For the transformation of integration variable from time to true anomaly, it was used that the angular momentum h equals r two theta equals mu p display style h equals r caret 2 dot theta equals sqrt mu p by definition of the parameter p display style p for a kepler orbit see equation 13 of the kepler orbit article for the special case where the Kepler orbit is circular or almost circular, r equals p. Display style r equals p, and one takes the simpler form, where p equals two pi r r. Mu display style p equals two pi r sqrt frac r mu is the orbital period. Topic: perturbation of the semi-major axis, orbital period. For an elliptic Kepler orbit, the sum of the kinetic and the potential energy. G equals V two two minus mu R display style G equals frac V carrot two two frac mu R where V display style V is the orbital velocity is a constant and equal to g equals minus mu two a display style g equals frac mu two c d o t r equation forty four of the Kepler orbit article if h Display style bar H is the perturbing force and V Display style bar V is the velocity vector of the Kepler orbit. The equation one takes the form and for a circular or almost circular orbit from the change delta G Display style delta G are the parameter g dispel a style g the new semi-major axis a 
display style and the new period p equals 2 pi a a mu display style p equals 2 pi a sqrt frac a mu a computed relations 43 and 44 of the kepler orbit article topic perturbation of the orbital plane Let G carrot display style hat G and H carrot display style hat H make up a rectangular coordinate system in the plane of the reference Kepler orbit. If omega display style omega is the argument of perigee relative the g caret display style hat g and h caret display style hat h coordinate system the true anomaly theta display style theta is given by theta equals u minus omega display style theta equals u omega and the approximate change delta z caret display style delta hat z of the orbital pole z Carrot display style hat z defined as the unit vector in the direction of the angular momentum is where f z display style f underscore z is the component of the perturbing force in the z carrot display style hat z direction v t equals mu p 1 plus e cos theta Display style v underscore t equals sqrt frac mu p one plus e cos theta is the velocity component of the Kepler orbit orthogonal to radius vector and r equals p one plus e cos theta. Display style r equals frac p one plus e cos theta is the distance to the center of the Earth. For a circular or almost circular orbit, five simplifies to example. In a circular orbit, a low force propulsion system ion thruster generates a thrust force per unit mass of f z carrot display style f hat z in the direction of the orbital pole in the half of the orbit for which sin u display style sin u is positive and in the opposite direction in the other half the resulting change of orbit pole after one orbital revolution at duration p equals 2 pi r r mu display style p equals 2 pi r sqrt frac r mu is the average change rate delta 
Z carrot P Display style frac delta hat Z P is therefore where V equals mu R Display style V equals SQRT frac mu R is the orbital velocity in the circular Kepler orbit. Topic: <inaudible> Perturbation of the eccentricity vector. Rather than applying one and two on the partial derivatives of the orbital elements' eccentricity and argument of perigee directly, one should apply these relations for the eccentricity vector. First of all the typical application is a near circular orbit. But there are also mathematical advantages working with the partial derivatives of the components of this vector also for orbits with a significant eccentricity. Equations 60, 55, and 52 of the Kepler orbit article say that the eccentricity vector is where from which follows that where equations 18 and 19 of the Kepler orbit article. The eccentricity vector is by definition always in the osculating orbital plane spanned by R carat display style hat R and T carat display style hat T and formally there is also a derivative e v z equals minus v r v 0 t caret v z Display style frac partial bar e partial v underscore z equals frac v underscore r v underscore zero frac partial hat t partial v underscore z with t carrot v z equals one v t Z carrot display style frac partial hat t partial v underscore z equals frac one v underscore t hat z corresponding to the rotation of the orbital plane, but in practice the in-plane change of the eccentricity vector is computed as ignoring the out-of-plane force and the new eccentricity vector e plus delta e display style bar e plus delta bar e is subsequently projected to the new orbital plane orthogonal to the new orbit normal z caret plus delta z caret Display style hat z plus delta hat z computed as described above. Example: The sun is in the orbital plane of a spacecraft in a circular orbit with radius r. Display style r, and consequently with a constant orbital velocity v zero equals mu r display style v underscore zero equals sqrt frac mu r if k caret display style hat k and l caret display style hat l Make up a rectangular coordinate system in the orbital plane such that k 
carrot display style hat k points to the sun and assuming that the solar radiation pressure force per unit mass f display style f is constant one gets that r carrot equals cos u k carrot plus sin u l carrot display style hat r equals cos u hat k plus sin u hat l t carrot equals minus sin u k carrot plus cos u l carrot Display style hat t equals sin u hat k plus cos u hat l f r equals minus cos u f display style f underscore r equals cos u f f t equals sin u f display style f underscore t equals sin u f where u display style u is the polar angle of r caret display style hat r in the k caret display style hat k l caret display style hat l system applying to one gets that this means the eccentricity vector will gradually increase in the direction l caret display style hat l orthogonal to the sun direction this is true for any orbit with a small eccentricity the direction of the small eccentricity vector does not matter as p display style p is the orbital period this means that the average rate of this increase will be 3 2 F B zero display style frac three to frac F B underscore zero. Topic: The effect of the Earth flattening. In the article Geopotential Model, the modeling of the gravitational field as a sum of spherical harmonics is discussed. By far, the dominating term is the J2 term. This is a zonal term, and corresponding force is therefore completely in a longitudinal plane with one component F R R carrot display style F underscore R hat R in the radial direction and one component F Lambda Lambda carrot Display style F underscore Lambda hat Lambda with the unit vector Lambda carrot Display style hat Lambda orthogonal to the radial direction towards north. These directions are carrot display style hat r and lambda carrot display style hat lambda are illustrated in figure 1
To be able to apply relations derived in the previous section the force component F lambda lambda carrot display style F underscore lambda hat lambda must be split into two orthogonal components F T T carrot display style F underscore T hat T and F Z Z carrot display style F underscore Z hat Z as illustrated in figure two let a carrot B carrot N carrot display style hat a hat B hat N Make up a rectangular coordinate system with origin in the center of the Earth, in the center of the reference ellipsoid, such that n caret display style hat n points in the direction north, and such that a caret b caret display style hat a hat b are in the equatorial plane of the Earth with a carrot display style hat a pointing towards the ascending node, i.e. towards the blue point of Figure two. The components of the unit vectors a carrot t carrot z carrot Display style hat r hat t hat z, making up the local coordinate system of which t carrot z carrot display style hat t hat z are illustrated in Figure two relative the a carrot b carrot N carrot display style hat a hat b hat n r r a equals cos u display style r underscore a equals cos u r b equals Cos I sin U Display style R underscore B equals cos I sin U R N equals sin I sin U Display style R underscore N equals sin I sin U T A equals minus sin U Display style T underscore R equals sin U T B equals cos I cos u display style t underscore b equals cos i cos u t n equals sin i cos u display style t underscore n equals sin i cos u z a equals zero. Display style z underscore a equals zero. Z b equals minus sin i. 
display style z underscore b equals sin i z n equals cos i display style z underscore n equals cos i where u display style u is the polar argument of R carrot display style hat R relative the orthogonal unit vectors G carrot equals a carrot display style hat G equals hat R and H carrot equals cos i b carrot plus sin i n carrot display style hat h equals cos i hat b plus sin i hat n in the orbital plane firstly sin lambda equals r n equals sin i sin u display style sin lambda equals r underscore n equals sin i sin u where lambda Display style lambda is the angle between the equator plane and R carrot display style hat R between the green points of Figure two and from equation twelve of the article geopotential model one therefore gets that. Secondly, the projection at direction north n carrot display style hat n on the plane spanned by t caret z caret display style hat t hat z is sin i cos u t caret plus Cos I Z carrot display style sin I cos u hat t plus cos I hat z and this projection is cos lambda lambda carrot display style cos lambda hat lambda where Lambda carrot display style hat lambda is the unit vector lambda carrot display style hat lambda orthogonal to the radial direction towards north illustrated in Figure One. From equation twelve of the article geopotential model one, therefore gets that. F lambda lambda carrot equals minus j two one r four three sin lambda sin Cos U T carrot plus cos I Z carrot equals minus J two one R four 3 
sin I sin U sin I cause U T carrot plus cause I said carrot Display style f underscore lambda hat lambda equals j underscore two frac one r carrot four three sin lambda sin i cos u hat t plus cos i hat z equals j underscore two frac one r carrot four three sin i sin u sin i cos u hat t plus cos i hat z and therefore. Topic: Perturbation of the orbital plane. From five and twenty-one gets that the fraction p r display style frac p r is p r equals one plus E cos U minus Omega equals one plus E cos U cos Omega plus E sin U sin omega display style frac p r equals one plus e cos u omega equals one plus e cos u cos omega plus e sin u sin omega where e display style e is the eccentricity and Omega display style Omega is the argument of perigee at the reference Kepler orbit as all integrals of type 0 2 pi cos M u sin n u D U Display style in limits underscore zero carrot two pi cos carrot M U sin carrot N U do a zero if not both N Display style N and M Display style M A even one gets from twenty one that Delta Z carrot equals minus two pi J two mu P two three two sin I cos I H carrot times Z carrot Display style delta hat z equals minus two pi frac j underscore two mu p carrot two frac three two sin I cos I quad hat H times hat Z as N Carrot equals cos I Z carrot plus sin I H carrot Display style hat N equals cos I hat Z plus sin I hat H 
This can be written as n caret display style hat n is an inertially fixed vector. The direction of the spin axis of the Earth relation 22 is the equation of motion for a unit vector z caret display style hat z describing a cone around n caret display style hat n with a precession rate radians per orbit of minus 2 pi j 2 mu p 2 3 2 cos i Display style minus two pi frac j underscore two mu p carrot two frac three two cos i. In terms of orbital elements, this is expressed as where i display style i is the inclination of the orbit to the equatorial plane of the Earth. Omega display style omega is the right ascension of the ascending node. Topic: <inaudible> Perturbation of the eccentricity vector. From 16, 18, and 19 follows that in plane perturbation of the eccentricity vector is the new eccentricity vector being the projection of e plus Delta E display style bar E plus delta bar E on the new orbital plane orthogonal to Z carrot plus delta Z carrot display style hat Z plus delta hat Z where delta Z carrot display style delta hat Z is given by 22 relative the coordinate system G carrot equals a carrot display style hat G equals hat a H carrot equals cos i b carrot plus sin i n carrot display style hat h equals cos i hat b plus sin i hat n one has that r carrot Equals cos u g carrot plus sin u h carrot display style hat r equals cos u hat g plus sin u hat h t carrot equals Minus sin u g carrot plus cos u h carrot display style hat t equals sin u hat g plus cos u hat h using that p r equals 1 plus e cos theta equals 1 plus e g cos 
U plus E H sin U Display style frac p r equals one plus e c d o t cos theta equals one plus e underscore g c d o t cos u plus e underscore h c d o t sin u, and that v r v t equals e g Sin U minus E H cos U P R Display style frac v underscore r v underscore t equals frac e underscore g c d o t sin u e underscore h c d o t cos u frac p r where e g equals e cos omega Display style e underscore g equals e cos omega e h equals e sin omega. Display style e underscore h equals e sin omega. Are the components of the eccentricity vector in the g? Carrot H carrot display style hat G hat H coordinate system. This integral twenty five can be evaluated analytically. The result is this: the difference equation of motion for the eccentricity vector E display style bar E to form a circle the magnitude of the eccentricity e display style e staying constant translating this to orbital elements it must be remembered that the new eccentricity vector obtained by adding delta e display style delta bar e to the old E display style bar E must be projected to the new orbital plane obtained by applying 23 and 24. This is illustrated in Figure 3. To the change in argument of the eccentricity vector delta omega one equals minus. Two Pi J two Mu P two three two three two Sin two I minus one Display E style delta omega underscore one equals minus two pi frac j underscore two mu p carrot two frac three two left frac three two sin carrot two i one right must be added an increment due to the precession of the orbital plane caused by the out of plane force component amounting to delta omega Two equals minus cos I delta omega equals two pi j two mu p two three Two cos two 
I Display style delta omega underscore two equals cos I delta omega equals two pi frac j underscore two mu p carrot two frac three two cos carrot two I one therefore gets that in terms of the components of the eccentricity vector E G E H Display style e underscore g e underscore h relative the coordinate system g carrot h carrot display style hat g hat h that processes around the polar axis of the Earth the same is expressed as follows where the first term is the in-plane perturbation of the eccentricity vector and the second is the effect of the new position of the ascending node in the new plane from 28 follows that delta omega display style del ta omega is zero if sin 2 equals 4 5 display style sin caret 2 i equals frac 4 5 this fact is used for molnir orbits having an inclination of 63.4 dag an orbit with an inclination of 180 to 63 4 dag equals 116.6 dag would in the same way have a constant argument of perigee equals topic proof equals proof that the integral where r caret equals Cos U G carrot plus sin U H carrot display style hat R equals cos U hat G plus sin U hat H T carrot equals minus Sin U G carrot plus cos U H carrot display style hat T equals sin U hat G plus cos U hat H P R equals one plus e g cos u plus e h sin u display style frac p r equals 1 plus e underscore g cos u plus e underscore h sin u v R V T equals E G sin U minus E H cos U P R Display style frac v underscore r v underscore t equals frac e underscore g sin u e underscore h cos u frac p r has the value. Integrating the first term of the integrand one gets, and for the second term one gets, and for the third term one gets, and for the fourth term one gets and 
adding the right-hand sides of 32, 34, 36, and 38, one gets 2 pi 27 8 sin 2 i e h minus 2 pi 3 2 e h minus 2 pi 3 2 sin 2 i e h plus 2 pi 3 8 sin 2 i e h equals 2 pi 3 2 3 2 sin 2 i minus 1 e h Display style two pi frac twenty seven eight sin carrot two i e underscore h two pi frac three two e underscore h two pi frac three two sin carrot two i e underscore h plus two pi frac three eight sin carrot two i e underscore h equals two pi frac three two left frac three two sin carrot two i one Right e underscore h. Adding the right hand sides of 33, 35, 37, and 39, one gets minus 2 pi 9 8 sin 2 i e g plus 2 pi 3 2 e g minus 2 pi 3 2 sin 2 i e G plus two Pi three eight Sin two I E G equals minus two Pi three Two three two sin two I minus one E G Display style minus two pi frac nine eight sin carrot two i e underscore g plus two pi frac three two e underscore g two pi frac three two sin carrot two i e underscore g plus two pi frac three eight sin carrot two i e underscore g equals minus two pi frac three two left frac three two sin Carrot two I one right E underscore G. 